Is your team affinity currently looking like this in terms of progress and you're looking for the fastest ways to get to 100%? Look no further. I got an offline method for you and an online method for you. We are going to start with the offline method first. The first thing that you should check out is what your single player missions are in terms of the division you are looking to complete or if you're looking to complete multiple divisions at once go ahead and check out what the single player missions are that you can complete that are repeatable as well repeatable is the big keyword here as we can see in the american league east it's to tally 20 total bases they have no pitchers but if you go to the american league central you will see that their single player mission is both to tally 20 total bases with their hitters as well as to pitch nine innings in total with their pitchers and then if we go all the way to the west you will see that theirs are tally three innings total pitched as well as 20 total bases so a repeating mission across all divisions seems to be to tally 20 total bases with the hitters and then for the pitchers it's either or you're either going to go with three innings pitch or nine innings pitch now how do we do that most effectively before even jumping in there make sure you guys hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell check out the description for the twitch second demo will be the show channel as well as social medias and discord is coming soon make sure you guys follow everywhere in single player modes there is a beautiful game mode called play versus cpu now i want you to listen to me very carefully here when it comes to stats as soon as you quit out the stats will count as progress for whatever mission it is you are looking to complete you heard that right if you only hit with the first hitter and all you needed to do was get four total bases with that first hitter and you hit a home run then you could simply quit out and you will be done with that mission why am i telling you that well because if you are working specifically on hitters what you're going to want to do is go ahead and face the Rockies. You are going to play them as a way and you are going to play them on the easiest difficulty, which you will see here in the beginning of play versus CPU rookie difficulty. That's what you're going to want. You are going to face them as a way and the pitcher that you put is going to be your fifth best starting pitcher. Why do you do that? Because generally speaking, they will also put their fifth best starting pitcher, which is their worst starting pitcher, which will give you the advantage considering you're going to be hitting with diamonds. Now, this is not the lineup you're going to have. You're going to have a different lineup depending on what it is you're working with. But let's say I was strictly doing just the American League East because it has no pitchers. What I would do if I had two out of the three is make the first two hitters that one and that two and when i unlock the third i would make it one two three and as soon as i finish my at bats with one two and three it doesn't matter if all of them lined out it doesn't matter if all of them hit a home run i would quit out as soon as the third at bat is complete when the fourth batter is walking up to hit that way i could just rinse and repeat the process non-stop until i have 20 total bases that is going to be the most ideal way to do it if you are specifically focusing on just hitters. Let's say you have a mix of hitters you want to work on from different divisions and you also have some pitchers that you want to work on as well. I do not recommend play versus CPU necessarily for this because play versus CPU is a whole nine inning game and there are faster ways that you can go ahead and get the innings pitch while also benefiting from hitting with the hitters at preferred ballparks. A great way to do this is going to be inside of mini seasons. You could go into either mini season. It does not really matter to be completely honest with you, but I would highly suggest doing the classic mode because you can hit two goals at once. So. You go ahead and restart your mini season every single time by holding on X or A here until you get a fresh new mini season. You enter, you edit the roster, and make sure that you are at home for at least six straight games. That way you can pick your preferred park and you pick a park with high elevation or you download a custom ballpark with high elevation. That way your hitters can hit nonstop home runs and you can get total bases awarded to you with those hitters. And the goals that I say you will knock out at once is the team affinity total bases repeatable missions as well as this one. Going, going, gone, hit 20 home runs in one season as well as rack them up get a total of 50 total bases 
on veteran difficulty so unfortunately for this if you are going to take the mini seasons route you are going to be playing on veteran difficulty but you most likely will still be far ahead you do not need to win these games at all so don't even worry about that just worry on getting the three innings pitched as well as just hitting tanks with your hitters the other unfortunate thing about mini seasons is that unlike conquest your pitchers share energy throughout games so it doesn't reset so if you use pitcher A, then most likely next game you're going to have to use pitcher B, and then most likely next game you're going to have to use pitcher C. You can combat this, but you would have to restart the mini season each and every single time you have finished pitching with whichever pitchers it is that you are working on these missions for. Therefore, it is going to be unlikely that you knock out these two repeatable missions per season out at once. Let's say you don't want to do that although, and you want to play on the easiest difficulty, and you also want to use the same pitcher every single time. For example, let's say you're doing the AL West, and you want to use either Rysel Iglesias or Jose Leclerc to pitch three innings each and every single time. Well, Conquest is going to be great for that, because the beautiful thing about Conquest is, is that once you have a certain amount of territories next to a stronghold, you can always play on rookie difficulty. Now, obviously, you're going to have to either A, grind out the Nation of Baseball Conquest map, or B, grind out one of these Team Affinity maps as well in order to get all of the games done. But it does give you that ability to go ahead and use the same pitcher each and every single time. Another tip I would like to add is if you were to use Play vs. CPU to also get the innings pitched, I highly suggest there to play at home that way unless you're facing the Rockies. If you're facing the Rockies, then it doesn't matter where you play, either home or away. But if you play at home with a pitcher that you're pitching with, that's going to give you the ability to select your custom ballpark. And if you have an XP park, meaning Costco park or parallel XP park, where you are hitting tanks, low elevation and short fences, then that is going to be a priority for you in order to get the total bases while also getting the innings pitch done. And obviously you can play this on rookie difficulty, which might also be preferable to a lot of people. Blade, I don't like playing offline. I am an online Andy and that's the only thing I like to play. Where can I go ahead and do exactly this? Well, I got your answer. You are going to go into events. Events currently allows you to use Team Affinity Season 1 cards in order to build teams. So just like offline game modes, or let's actually look at the Team Affinity online rewards in terms of repeatable XP missions, you will see that you have tally total bases online and it's much less than offline. So online, you need to tally 10 total bases with the bosses inside each division. And then when it comes to pitching, it's actually a lot shorter as well, as we will see that for the central, it's tally three innings pitched with the two pitchers inside the central, but it's always going to be 10 total bases. And then if we look at the AOS, you will see here that it's tally two innings total pitched with AOS pitchers, and this is not giving you 10,000 Team Affinity points. These are giving you 15,000 Team Affinity points, and yes, these are repeatable. So how would we do this inside of events? We go ahead and build the event team with the Team Affinity cards that we do end up needing. So in the lineup, you would prioritize at the top whichever Team Affinity cards you need to get the total basis with. And if you do not have any pitchers for the time being, and you are away, meaning you hit first, what you could do is, as soon as you hit with your one, two, three, four, however many hitters you have that you are working on the Team Affinity missions for, as soon as you hit with that final hitter, if you're still hitting in the first inning and you don't want to complete the entire game, as soon as you finish that at bat, you can simply just quit out and go to the next game. It doesn't matter because events does not reflect on your personal record. It only reflects on the current standings for that event. And to be honest, no one really cares about that. So you might as well take advantage of just getting away games, hitting with three hitters that you need, hitting a home run with each, let's say, getting that 10 total bases, 15,000 team affinity points, quitting out, and then facing most likely a lesser opponent because you have one loss and the match rating goes down now 
if you need to pitch inside of events, unfortunately, you're not going to be quitting out once you hit with the hitters, even if you are away. Instead, you're going to be pitching that entire three inning game with whichever pitchers it is that you need to tally innings pitched. But just like many seasons, events share energy throughout games. So if you use pitcher A for event game number one, you can't use them again most likely for game number two, unless you want a guy with no energy out there that you're gonna be giving up a ton of tanks and it might not be just as fun. So what you could do is, if you are prioritizing a pitching mission as well as a hitting mission, is after each event game that you use up all those pitchers, or let's say you only have two. So you use pitcher A in game one to pitch three innings, pitcher B in game two to pitch three innings. Most likely by game three, pitcher A is not gonna have enough energy to go ahead and pitch game three. So instead, what you would do every single time that you are done with game two is simply just forfeit your entry. And what does forfeiting your entry do? Forfeiting your entry makes you start all over again your event run from zero wins and fresh new matchmaking rating and you can use pitcher A as well from the get-go and pitcher B as well from the get-go. So if you only have one pitcher that you're currently working on, this is probably the best method you could use to just farm those innings pitch. Go ahead and take, for example, let's look at Team Affinity West where it's Jose Leclerc as well as Rizal Iglesias, and the multiplayer mission is to go ahead and throw two innings with either or or both. You could literally have Jose Leclerc be the opener, throw the first inning, and throw the second inning as well, or just make him throw the first inning, bring in Rizal Iglesias for the second inning, quit out, go ahead, forfeit the entry, and then jump back in. And just rinse and repeat that process. You'll get two innings pitched every single time. You don't have to win these event games. All you need to do is get the stats. Now, if you were to be working on parallel XP missions as well, which I don't suggest because they are not as fast or as efficient. Unfortunately, for parallel XP to count, the first hitter needs to get a second at bat unless you play three innings. If you play three innings, then unfortunately for you, you got no hit and you lost, but the parallel XP counts. But if you do not play three innings, then your first hitter must get another at bat in order for you to go ahead and get parallel XP progress. If you want more tips and guides like these, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button, red subscribe button, notification bell. Check out the description for the Twitch, second MLB The Show channel, social medias, and Discord soon to come. Make sure you guys follow on all social medias. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.